Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome my dear brothers and sisters to the fourth greatest purifier of the soul and that is talabul ilm, seeking Islamic knowledge, seeking the knowledge of that wahi, that, that uh, revelation that came from above the seven heavens. The wahi that is the uh, nutrition for your soul. Hmm? Subhanallah. And we have, mashallah, many courses on Wahi Institute and on our channel, YouTube channel. Many courses. Learn those. Take those, inshallah, benefit from them. Seeking knowledge is the fourth greatest purifier of the heart. And it is harder than the others. Is it harder than Salah? You'll find people who do Salah, who recite Quran, who do even Adhkar, but they are not actively seeking knowledge of Islam. Seeking knowledge of Islam requires much more effort. That's why even lesser people seek knowledge of Islam practically and actively. <clears throat> seeking knowledge of Islam, talabul ilm. Seeking knowledge of Islam, this is the inheritance left by the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, inna al-ulama awarathatul anbiya the scholars of Islam, they are the inheritors of the bequeath. Uh, the, uh, they are the, they are, they are oh, sorry, they are the, they are the inheritance, they are the scholars, are the inherit inheritors of the prophets. They are the inheritors of the prophets. He said, Lam yuwarithu dinaran wala dirhaman. Because the prophets do not bequeath gold or silver. They don't leave behind properties, wealth. They don't leave behind the worldly riches. No. Innama warrathul ilm. But rather they only bequeath the Islamic knowledge. The revelatory knowledge that was revealed by Allah Azza wa Jal. So the Prophet said, فَمَنْ أَخَذَ بِهِ أَخَذَ بِحَظٍ وَافِرٍ Whoever is able to attain a portion, whoever is able to attain a portion from this knowledge, then he has attained a great portion, an abundant good. An abundant good. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, if you are enjoying this course, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and click on the bell icon so you never miss a course. Please share this course with your family and friends to multiply your reward and benefit. It helps us a lot to create content like this for everyone. Subhanallah. Also, the Prophet Sallallahu told, uh, the Prophet was, uh, as some scholars mentioned, the Prophet was never commanded to ask in the increase of anything except religious knowledge. Allah never asked the Prophet to ask in increase of anything except knowledge. Allah says, وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِتْنِ عِلْمًا And say, O oh Allah, increase me in my knowledge. Knowledge of the deen. Knowledge of revelation. Knowledge that will bring me close to Allah Azza wa Jal. It will bind me to Allah Azza wa Jal. Also, it is a path of Jannah and everyone and everything in the universe honors him and seeks forgiveness for him when he's seeking knowledge. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَطْلُبُ فِيهِ عِلْمًا سَلَكَ اللَّهُ بِهِ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ In another hand, سَهَّلَ اللَّهُ بِهِ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ whoever, whoever treads a path of seeking knowledge in it, Allah Azza wa Jal, because of it, opens a path and makes the path to Jannah easy for him. وَإِنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ لَتَضَعُوا أَجْنِحَتَهَا رِضَ لِطَالِبِ الْعِلْمِ And the angels, as they see this student of knowledge traveling, they place their wings before him, like the red carpet. They place their wings before him as he walks to honor him because of what he seeks. وَإِنَّهُ لَيَسْتَغْفِرُ لِلْعَالِمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ حَتَّى الْحِتَانُ فِي الْمَاءِ 
The Prophet said, And everything in the heavens and earth, even the fish or the whale in the water, in the ocean, seeks forgiveness for this person seeking knowledge, for this alim, for this scholar. وَفَضْلُ الْعَالِمِ عَلَى الْعَابِدِ كَفَضْلِ الْقَمَرِ عَلَى سَائِرِ الْكَوَاكِبِ He said, and the virtue of a scholar over an, a worshipper, a worshipper, is that of the moon over the rest of the stars. Allah. Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, seeking knowledge will purify our hearts like nothing else. How many times you're listening to a lecture and there's something that you heard will change your heart? You're reading a book and one statement you read changes your heart. Yes, it will purify our hearts. In the next session, we will talk how to install this program in our lives, how to get ourselves to seek knowledge. We ask Allah to accept this from us and to allow us to be of those who seek knowledge. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairun. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.